Hi, my name is Kristen Rebman and I'm an associate professor at San Jose State University School of Information. I'm so pleased today to, to bring you some uh, really fantastic information about TV Whitespace, which is a networking technology that's being that's rather new and being implemented in a lot of countries, or excuse me, a lot of uh, communities around the nation and even uh, internationally. Uh, one of the key uh, aspects of TV white space is the central role it can play in uh, access and inclusion and addressing uh, access and inclusion via uh, a new technology. So it's really powerful along those lines. There are two other applications that are equally important, uh, especially particularly for museums and archives. Uh, the first being the opportunity to engage in distributed programming. Uh, this idea that you can uh, move from having, uh, well, archives and museums have always have, had exhibits out in the community uh, that uh, their patrons can go visit. But the opportunity that TV White Space uh, presents is to create uh, a context or a learning environment out in the community and in, in a distributed space where their patrons could go visit the the uh, site and have access to the internet so that they could engage in uh, really rich learning activities, uh, engage in uh, multimodal activities. If you've designed activities for uh, your schools or other community members that would go along with a particular site, then now you could provide internet at that site, even if it's a rural or even a geologic formation out in your community, or maybe it's a, a site of an historic battle. Uh, your patrons can go uh, visit if you had a hotspot, a TV white space enabled hotspot located there, then they can engage in their multimodal activities uh, at the site in question rather than having to go visit the site and then coming back to uh, an internet uh, access enabled uh, place like your museum building. All of a sudden you could uh, do distributed exhibits in really powerful ways and so that would really uh, pump up your programming and you can do some really fantastic and interesting and innovative things. Uh, so distributed programming is a great uh, avenue for uh, the expansion of TV white space beyond just simple access and inclusion but really doing rich access and inclusion uh, via innovative programming. Uh, another uh, really interesting uh, dimension of TV white space is the potential it has for uh, disaster planning and preparation and uh, crisis response. So one of the unique things about TV white space is that uh, the units for TV white space are portable so that they can be moved in times of crisis. So if we have a library or an archive or a museum that has a main TV white space uh, module uh, implemented in within the building, then the hotspots that are that exist out in the community during a time of crisis can be moved uh, with a population that is in crisis, for example. So if, for example, if you have a situation of a fire, then uh, we know that populations have to evacuate, they have to move. Uh, a hotspot that normally resides in a park can be moved to a shelter or it can be moved to a special um, information center where uh, community members are gathering to find out information to help them respond to uh, whether it's a disaster or a community crisis. Uh, so there are re some really powerful aspects to TV white space. Uh, in terms of partnering, uh, having your museum, your archive, or your library partnering with uh, other community organizations to uh, offer a really robust uh, response to a crisis or disaster uh, uh, is really an important and uh, high, has high potential uh, in terms of the application of TV white space uh, technology in your community. So I encourage everyone to explore those two uh, dimensions or applications of TV white space. First, that distributed programming and think, think about some of the fantastic things you can do out in your community. And thinking more about uh, disaster preparation and the sustainability of your organization in terms of uh, being a full member of, of your community in times of crisis and disaster response and what role your organization might be able to play.